Matthew chapter 2, verse 11. And when they come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and my. Jesus Christ was giving precious gifts at birth. You may not know the value of frankincense and my, but you all know the value of gold. Gold is, is, is invaluable. Gold is precious. Now, Jesus Christ overcame poverty from birth. He was born in poverty. His parents were poor. They could not even afford an hang and hotel. He was born with goats. We had goats and sheep were sleeping. That is where he was born. But he didn't struggle with poverty throughout his life. He didn't inherit poverty. His fathers were poor, but he didn't inherit poverty. He was giving gold from bar. And I'm sure that cancelled every poverty in his life and his generation. I pray for you today. The poverty of your father's house, you shall not inherit it in Jesus' mighty name. You are redeemed from the poverty of your father's house. Don't your your life your case is different because you have been redeemed of God because you are grafted to the blood of Jesus Christ. The circle of poverty in your family shall not be recycled over you. The the blessing Jesus Christ was just giving one blessing that eradicated poverty in his life. The blessing that will eradicate poverty that will make you to say farewell to poverty. That will make you to say bye-bye to poverty, receive that blessing, possess that possession, receive that blessing, possess that job, receive that blessing, possess that breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God shall divinely order your steps into prosperity. Jesus Christ did not struggle out of poverty. Blessings came divinely. God will divinely connect you. God will divinely promote you. God will divinely protest and prosper you. It is well with you. You are a prosperous child. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen.